Hi, Maya. We are finally able to have children. You got pregnant? So what? Aren't you happy for us? Isn't it natural since you got married? Well, anyway, I'm sorry to tell you this, but the doctor told me to rest. He says there's a risk of premature delivery. So what? Huh? Pregnancy isn't a disease, so you should be able to do anything. But... Why are you being so spoiled? Grow up! You better be aware of your duty as a wife, you know? I'm aware, but I can't force myself. Still, you can't just slack at your housework. Being pregnant is not an excuse. Lucy, what are you doing every day? When are you going to come to my house? You are always so dull. Can't you act more quickly? You should understand more about your duty as a wife. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm saying, come to my house right now and do the housework. Do the housework? You haven't done anything I ask you to do. I really don't understand what you're talking about. You haven't cleaned the windows, mown the lawn, washed the car. You haven't done anything I ask for. Cleaning windows, mowing the lawn, and washing your car? That's right. You've neglected everything. I can't do that right now. Stop being lazy. If you're my daughter-in-law, you should at least come and cook for me. Well, that's... I can't take it anymore. That's enough. Get over here right now. I can't. Patrick, I'd like to ask you something. Hey, Lucy, what is it? I got a bunch of messages from your mother, and it's a little weird. What's going on? Are you okay? I don't know how to respond. What do you mean? You told her that I'm four months pregnant and that I've been back to my parents' house to have babies, right? Yes, I did. I told her around the time you arrived at your parents' house. My mom would definitely be against you having a baby there instead of here. I told her I'll be away for six months on a business trip to Australia and considering you're pregnant with twins, it's better for you to have babies there where your parents are. I told her just as we planned together. Well, it looks like she's pretending it didn't happen. What? What are you talking about? I'll send you a screenshot of the text your mother sent me today, so you can read it. Okay. What's this? She's telling you to come over to her house to do tons of chores, knowing that you're four months pregnant. She's been pushing me to do it from time to time since we got married. But now that I'm pregnant, I went back to my parents' home to avoid her, you know? But it doesn't seem to matter to her. She said she understood what I told her. I'll explain to her all over again later. Yeah, please. Oh, and if she says anything after this, you don't have to respond at all. You can block her if you want. No, I don't want to block her. You're okay with that? My mom told me. She said that in a case like this, it's better to keep the communication open so that it's easier to know what she's doing. I see. 
So we shouldn't just shut her out. That's right. Well, my mom doesn't know exactly where your parents live, so I don't think you have to worry about her coming there. But I should be prepared just in case, right? Right. But really, I'm sorry about everything. I have never thought that she'd turn into a wife-bullying mother-in-law as soon as I went abroad on a business trip. Patrick. But I remember something. I have a brother three years older than me. Remember? I told you that. Oh yeah, I remember. While you were living in a dormitory in high school, your brother got married. He rented an apartment near your parents' house and went on his honeymoon. And then, six months or so later, he moved out without telling anyone, and your parents lost touch with him. Is that about right? Yeah. But he occasionally texts me to catch up, but he won't tell me where he lives. We just communicate on WhatsApp when necessary. But even that kind of thing... He tells me never to tell my mom or give her any contact information. Hey, is that... Yeah, that's right. Now that I think about it, mom's wife bullying might have gone to his wife. Why don't you ask your brother about it? He might be able to help us if you tell him about our current situation. Yeah, I'll try that. I should be able to go back to the U.S. around the time you're in your last month of pregnancy. But if you need anything before then, don't hesitate to call me. Thank you. Lucy, you really are a useless wife. There is no way you would ask Patrick for help behind my back. What in the world did you say to him that made him so angry? He told me not to let you do my chores, that I should have done them myself in the first place. And all because you used your pregnancy as an excuse not to come over to my house to do my chores. You can go ahead and have the babies back home with your parents, but I won't allow you to skip out on the housework. If you understand, you are going to do the housework tomorrow from morning to night. I'll make you do all the chores this time, even the ones you've skipped. Tomorrow, you must be here by 6 a.m. Patrick, your mother is still the same. I'm in trouble. Huh? Can I send you another screenshot? I think you'll understand the situation better if you see it yourself. Okay, go ahead. It seems like she's getting worse and worse after I talk to her. I can't believe this is happening. I thought the same thing. I asked my brother about the truth behind his disappearance, and he said it was because she was a wife beater. Six months after that, my dad divorced her. And he said that the wife bullying must have had some influence on that. The reason my brother didn't tell me the details is because he was hoping she would get better. He said he was just trying to see how things would go. I see. And now she's doing it all over again. And I can't even talk her out of it. Anyway, I can't allow her to do this to you until the babies are born. No sign of her finding out where you live, right? Maybe not. But there's no guarantee that she won't. I'm sorry for troubling you. No, it's my mother's fault for doing horrible things to you. My parents are going to try to talk to her to leave me alone, at least until I have the babies. Can you think about what to do after that? Of course I will. And of course I'll think about it too. We can discuss it together. Okay. 
You know, she might try to text you again without even considering your pregnancy. So there's only one thing to do. I'll probably ask for help from you and your parents. Would that be okay? Of course. Let me know any time. I'm just reporting this to you. Late last night, Lucy finished giving birth. It was hard on her because of the premature birth, but she gave birth to healthy boys. At least Lucy is healthy and all. I'm so glad. Oh my gosh, congratulations! You know what? Please don't even think about asking her to do some chores for you, okay? Okay, okay. I guess it's time for me to go. I heard you gave birth, but it was yesterday, so what's the big deal? You've already given birth, so you should be able to do all the housework. Don't think about slacking off all the time. Come home as quick as possible. You've given birth before too, right? Huh? You finally replied. But what's with that rude question? Because it sounds like you don't know that right after the baby's born, you still need to rest, or that you have to spend all day raising a baby. Have you forgotten about that? I don't need you to tell me that. Just get here right now. Okay, I understand. All right, I'll be waiting. Patrick, I got a text from Maya again. How did it go? Are you okay? To be honest, I'm sorry, but no. She knows I just had twin babies last night. Yeah, so? And yet she told me not to skip any chores and come home as quick as possible. That's terrible. And she seems pretty upset. She's been texting me a lot, and her messages don't make any sense. What kind of things is she saying? She says the housework is piling up, that she hasn't made any progress on the cleaning. I think she's in panic. That's not all. It's like she's trying to force me to do everything she can do herself. And she knows I just gave birth to twins, but she doesn't seem like she even cares about it. I'm so sorry. I'll take care of the rest. Thank you, Patrick. But what's going to happen now? Don't worry about it. You just rest your body and concentrate on taking care of the twins. Yeah, thanks. I'm counting on you. Hey, Lucy. The doorbell rang, so I thought you came home. But what in the world is this? Your son came to your home, didn't he? With his own relatives and my relatives? A total of 20 people in all. I told you to come back and not Patrick. And besides, I can't let 20 people start doing the house chores. That's just too many. You've been leaving things undone for a long time. I'm sure it's several times more efficient than just me doing it. That might be true, but this is crazy! I'm sorry. I haven't fully recovered yet, so I should rest now. Hey, wait a minute! You better do something about it. At least let your relatives go home. I tried to tell Patrick, but he just kept smiling and didn't do anything. Patrick, what the hell are you doing? I thought the 20 people had come over to do housework, but I can't believe they were actually making me move. Is it about time you've already gotten off the plane and arrived at the new place by now, right? Even if it's close to my relative's house, it's still so far away in the countryside, deep in the mountains. 
With so few people there, it might be difficult to make friends. What in the world is going on here? Mom, do you still don't understand why you are in this situation? What did I do? I think you know what you did. Bullying my wife? Huh? You did it once to my brother's wife. He found out that you were bullying his wife and he broke off the relationship with you, right? You should have been sorry for that. And now you're doing it to Lucy. Excuse me? What are you saying? It's only natural for a wife to obey her husband's mother, right? I was just trying to educate her, to get her to do my chores. This is in no way wife bullying. I see. If you're still like that, I'll have to go the same way as my brother. What? I've decided to move out and apply for a transfer as soon as I get back home. Oh, you moved out too? Yes, I did. And I'll be taking Lucy's last name in the near future. So I'm breaking off the relationship with you too. Patrick, wait a minute! Lucy, I'm really sorry. What's wrong, Maya? I'm so sorry I said those terrible things to you. I see. I apologize for everything I've done. Please forgive me. After all this, no matter what you say, it won't change my mind anymore. But please, I need you to do something. I can't live like this. It's no longer my problem, so please take care of yourself. Please, you have to help me. I have my hands full raising twins right now. I don't have time to worry about you. Don't be so cold, please. I have nothing more to say to you, so please excuse me. Lucy, wait a minute! After that, Maya had to live in the countryside. She has never been able to get along with the people around her and has been living in isolation. She always looked down on others and had an arrogant attitude. She has never been able to fit in with a warm community in the countryside. As a result, she spends her days alone and lonely. As for our family, we are living a peaceful life with Patrick and our twin sons. He has settled into his new job and is doing a great job of balancing work and family life. The twins are growing up fast and every day is full of surprises and joy. In addition, Patrick and his brother are meeting sometimes, and our family bond is growing stronger. We see him and his wife from time to time, and they have welcomed us warmly. It is truly a blessing to see each other's children playing together. Bob, what is this? What are you doing? Don't be silly. What about it? What are you so irritated about so early in the morning? You'll get wrinkles. Huh? How can I not be angry at you for doing this to me? I just woke up and looked in the mirror, and there's graffiti all over my face. What's happened to my hair? It looks like a bird's nest. I can't go outside like this. Why did you do this to me? Why? Because it is for YouTube. It's a project where you surprise your sleeping fiancé and see if she wakes up or not. You don't wake up at all, no matter what I do. You don't wake up when I pinch your nose or pinch your cheeks. You're sleeping with your stomach exposed, talking in your sleep, and it's really funny. I thought it would be fun to cut your hair since you don't respond to any of it. You looked like a middle-aged man with no makeup and snoring. I was really busy and tired yesterday. 
It's not my fault. You know, we're getting married. We're having our wedding in four months. And you pull this stupid prank? Well, I can handle the graffiti if I wash it as hard as I can. How are you going to fix my hair? I can't do the hair I wanted to do with this length. Unbelievable. Don't be that mad, okay? We've got four months to go, so it'll grow a little. You know, the way you said that, you don't feel sorry at all. That's not true. I'm sorry I got carried away. You're right. Forgive me. You're really sorry? Yeah, I'm an idiot. I didn't think you'd be that angry. I don't know what I'm doing. I ended up hurting you. If you're sorry, I'll let it go. You wanted to get more views on YouTube, so you overdid it. I understand that, but it's a bit much. But if you promise not to do it again, I'll forgive you this time. Janet, thank you. I swear I won't ever do anything like this again. Yes, promise me. And tell your sister not to do this anymore. Even though you were with me, she entered the house without permission while I was sleeping. We're going to be a family, but give me a break. Yeah, I get it. I let her in because I couldn't film without her. It was my fault, but I'll tell her. Thank you. And please don't post this face on YouTube. I mean, I snored and my belly was on show, right? I don't want you to publish that. And I don't want people around me to talk about this. Cutting a sleeping person's hair is a bit much. I'm sure some people would be offended by watching this on YouTube. Well, maybe I was getting a little carried away. I'm not going to upload this video. I didn't mean to hurt you. I love you. And I'm really sorry I made you feel bad. It's okay. I know you didn't mean it. You swore you wouldn't do it again. Promise? Of course. I'll make you happy, Janet. Okay. Thank you. I didn't think it would work out this well. The prank was a big success. You would be the only one who fell into the ocean and drowned at a wedding in Hawaii, right? What the hell are you doing? You said this would never happen again. I forgot that promise. How is this a prank? Throwing me into the ocean in my wedding dress? The people at the ceremony noticed right away and helped me out, so I survived, but... A wedding dress is so heavy. And I was wearing stiletto. Of course I would drown. I know, I know. That's why it's so funny. Huh? Bob, are you out of your mind? I almost lost my life because of you. You're really overreacting, aren't you? I was going to save you once I could film a funny video. Video, video, video. YouTube, is that important? Yes, it's important. It's my source of income. You say you forgot your promise, but you weren't really sorry at all. Yeah, that's right. I just want to make funny videos. To do that, I can't be mediocre. I have to do something as outrageous as this to get the attention. You're going to be my wife, so you should know that. Thanks to you, I got a really good video. Your desperate face as you were drowning is really hilarious. Your makeup smeared all over your face. <laughs> I can't get over this. That's my wife. Why did you lie about being sorry? Because if I didn't say so, you'd be wary of me. If you get angry and say that you'll cancel the wedding, it'd ruin the prank I had been planning. You weren't worried that I might not marry you. It was that the prank wouldn't work. What the hell? 
Don't be too sensitive. I mean you, hurry up and get dressed and put on your makeup. We can't keep the attendees waiting any longer, can we? What are you talking about? Do you really think we're still having our wedding? Of course. What the hell are you talking about? My sister is frantically editing the video of you nearly drowning in the ocean right now. If we play it to the guests, I'm sure it'll buy time. But it won't be enough. Ah, oh, I could play the prank video of you sleeping the other night. I'm sure people would enjoy that one a little. I told you not to release that video. And you're going to show a video of me drowning at my wedding? You guys are crazy. What are you talking about? You're too narrow-minded. I was just trying to be funny. What's wrong with that? Uh, enough. The marriage is off. What? Of course. As a fool for thinking, I'd marry someone like you. Huh? Is this something to be so angry about? That's why I said I don't want to marry someone who doesn't understand this. Breaking off? What are you talking about? We're in the middle of our wedding right now. There's no way we can do that now. Don't you feel sorry for the staff at the wedding venue? And most importantly... And the guests who came all the way to Hawaii? I'm going to take those words right back at you. You're the one who ruined the wedding. I didn't understand what happened when you suddenly pushed me into the sea. But I still clearly remember the screams of everyone. You don't know the difference between screaming and being happy. You must be crazy. People would understand if I said I wanted to call off the wedding. You're really calling off the ceremony? I told you I'm breaking off the marriage. And I don't want to marry you. Oh, okay. Then that's fine. I mean, maybe I'm lucky I didn't marry you. Oh, yeah. Say what you want. Yeah, I'll say it as many times as I want. You know what? I'm a big YouTuber, and unlike you, I'm popular. There are plenty of potential marriage partners out there. What? Did you cheat on me? Of course, a guy as popular as me. Did you think you were the only one? How cheeky can you be? I have three other girlfriends besides you now. Thank you very much for being so open. I knew we shouldn't have gotten married. Are you sure about that? You'll regret it. What are you talking about? You're the one who's going to regret it. Huh? There's no way I'm going to regret it. Don't get carried away. I'll call off the wedding and let the staff and the guests know. Are you sure? Thanks. Sis, she's going to cancel the wedding. What? Seriously? Just because she got pushed into the ocean by us? Ugh, she's really a boring woman. Bob, it's really a good thing you didn't marry that woman. I didn't like her for a long time. She's ugly and has a bad sense of humor. I wondered why you were marrying a woman like that. I didn't like her at all. But she was the most convenient of my four girlfriends, that's all. She's an idiot. She didn't even know I was cheating on her. She makes the most money, so I don't have to spend it on her. But maybe I'm not a good judge of character, you know? Because she has no idea how YouTube works. Seriously? Why doesn't she get this? Like the video of her sleeping the other day and this one of her falling into the sea? She looked so ugly. I can't stop laughing no matter how many times I watch it. I know, right? Well, she really doesn't like it, so it was worth the prank, though, wasn't it? Seeing people when they really don't like it is what I live for. That makes me so happy. Ugh, you're such an asshole. <laughs> don't 
ever say that to anyone but me. Our YouTube channel is called Prank. But don't forget that the theme of our YouTube is to make people smile with pranks, okay? I know that. That's not what I want, but... I still have to give the impression that I'm a nice person, because if I don't, I'll get in trouble. That's right. While we're texting like this, I just finished editing the video of her drowning in the ocean. Shall I upload it right away? Sis, you're a genius. Let's upload it. And now that the marriage is broken off, I'll do whatever I want. I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of views this time. Okay, I'll get it up right away. Thanks. Sis, what the hell is going on? What's up with this latest video? And our texts are being exposed. Comments like, you're the worst and you cheated us. I've been inundated with complaints. And the number of subscribers is going down. Why did you upload this video? I can't help it. I was seen texting with you the whole time. I was threatened like, do as I say or I'll tell everyone you know about what you did. They caught me pushing her into the water on video. I was told that she could report it to the police. I'd be in trouble if she did that, wouldn't I? Who the hell is this woman? She says she was her best friend. She says she was Mary. Do you know her? That woman. She's Janet's best friend. Damn it. But that doesn't mean you could betray me, sis. Well, I was doing YouTube just for fun. But YouTube is all I do for a living. You can't do this to me. I value myself most. I wasn't in the video. And even if this YouTube got flamed, I won't be affected. Oh no. Did you get paid to betray me, sis? By any chance? I got busted. <laughs> she said that if you cooperate, she won't do anything that could harm me. What's more, she says she'll give me $1,000 in return. I've come all the way to Hawaii, so I want to have a lot of fun. But it's expensive here. $1,000 would be quite helpful. Sis, please delete the video. If more people see it, my YouTuber life will be over. It's too late, you know. If you delete the video with all these comments, you don't know what they'll say. Are you really okay with that? Oh no. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Hey, what have you done? Using your best friend to threaten my sister? That's not fair. Thanks to you, my YouTube life could be over. Can you take responsibility for that? Don't you dare talk to me like that. I didn't threaten anyone. Mary said that when she asked your sister if she could cooperate with her for $1,000. She got on board right away. Oh no. Besides, I did the same thing you did. What do you mean the same thing? You love pranks, don't you? So I thought I'd pull a prank too. I wanted to see how people would react to a YouTube clip like this. Don't be silly. It's not a prank. Oh, really? I don't know what a prank is. Are you kidding me? Hey, stop blaming me. The fact that your YouTube channel is flooded with comments and complaints, and the number of subscribers is decreasing rapidly, is all your fault. Huh? Why is that? It's your fault for deceiving your viewers, isn't it? The truth is, you love seeing people not liking something. But you say you love seeing pranks that make people smile? 
That's why you get criticized, because you tell lies like that. You deserve it. That's... It's a good thing I didn't marry a piece of shit like you. You quit your job without telling me. Did you really think you could make a living doing nothing but YouTube? Give me a break. You're a beaten down YouTuber who doesn't even make much money. If you really think you're loved by the three girlfriends, you're really hilarious. Huh? They love me. Why do I have to put up with hearing something like that? Because I contacted them. Huh? I asked Mary to get your girlfriend's contacts from your sister. Then I told them that your YouTube channel blew up. I also told them that if they don't break up with you right now, I'm going to charge them alimony for the affair. All three of them said that they would leave without hesitation. They even said that they didn't really like you. I kind of feel sorry for you. Why would you go that far? I told you, didn't I? You're the one who'll regret it. Oh no. Please, forgive me, please. You got it all wrong, don't you? I don't care about you anymore. After your channel blew up like that, your YouTube career will be over. I don't give a shit about you anymore. So I'll see you. Bye bye. Janet, pay me $1,000 like you promised. I cooperated with you, didn't I? What are you talking about? Huh? Don't be silly. Did I promise to pay you $1,000 to you? I didn't. Your friend Mary promised me, so it's just like you promised me. Oh no, Susan. Did you believe it? Huh? It's just a prank. If I pull a prank by offering you to pay $1,000, Will you betray your brother? Huh? Don't be silly. That's not a prank. It's not? I don't really understand that kind of thing. You've got to be kidding me. I shouldn't have cooperated with you. You really are the worst. Just so you know, my payback doesn't end here. Huh? When you go back home, there may be no place for you at work. What? What do you mean? I contacted the company where you work. I gave them the video of you pushing me into the ocean. And I also told them that you edited the YouTube video that blew up. Why would you do that? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm just trying to get back at you. I will never forgive you and your brother. You guys made fun of me. Your company doesn't allow side jobs, right? People around you will have a very cold look. You either resign voluntarily or be fired for violating the law. Oh no, I'm about to lose my income from YouTube. And on top of that, I'm going to lose my job? You've already lost one thing. You betrayed your brother Bob so easily it made me laugh. Bob will never forgive you for that. Oh no. I'll block you now that I feel better. Goodbye. Bob couldn't deal with a YouTube channel that blew up. He closed the channel in tears. Bob is unemployed, has lost all of his girlfriends, and he has been staying at home. As for Susan, everyone at work found out that she pushed me into the ocean at her brother's wedding. And on top of that, she was called by HR for working on the side. She chose to resign voluntarily. The other day, I happened to see them arguing with each other. When they saw me, they started trembling. I was really happy. Both of them are unemployed, and they don't seem to get along. Serves them right. I'm going to forget about these two jerks and enjoy the rest of my life.